them getting back into this. The hunger is there for Longford. The last three scores have come from them. Paddy Dowd, Paul Barden and Declan Farrell. They lead by four points and time is running out for Dublin. Into the final minutes of normal time. This is Longford's third time on the road in this competition. They won away to Kildare and Mead before beating DCU at home. And Dublin's last O'Byrne Cup defeat was in 2006 in the semi-final here at Parnell Park against Mead. 16 to 111 and Paul Caffrey is a most unhappy man. The captain Alan Brogan protests but me fears he doth protest too much. Arthur O'Connor the run on again from David Barden. David Barden whips it in well it's sailing over. That's an incredible score from David Barden. You'd imagine that Longford with a Division 2 side or maybe even the Division 1 side. Watch that point. That is a wonderful score. It's raining points for Longford at the moment. They're whipping over Paddy Dowd who has a bundle of energy all to it. Farrell and Dublin have absolutely no answer at the moment. It's all Longford. They're after tearing away in the last few minutes and all credit to them. They've had a wonderful second half of Gaelic football. Well, the Longford supporters in Parnell Park have bitten their nails down to the quick and borrowed more because these are going to be tense moments for them. Just over two minutes of normal time left. A Dublin goal will put this all back in the melting pot. Bernard Brogan, that's a very good score from Bernard Brogan. Quality player, when you need a score, he takes a score and a big one at that. I have to agree with you 100%, a fantastic score. That's his seven point. You can see the motion in his face there. He doesn't know what to lose here at home tonight. But it's still a four point game with a minute on the clock. Last weekend we had an amazing own goal by Owen Brosnan. And I can't see where a Dublin goal is going to come for in the next two minutes. Well, Damien Sheridan, as if he was out for a stroll among the drumlins of Longford. No hurry whatsoever on him. And even a goal now will make it difficult for Dublin. With three minutes of additional time to be played, there's time enough for Dublin. If they can do it, can Longford hold their nerve? The hand in there from Enda Farrell. Dublin have it but Longford converging Brian Cullen that man again Brian Cullen has picked up a wonderful amount of breaks tonight Collie Moore drives it long the chance is there Jason Sherlock's inside the chance Bernard Brogan oh great save from Damien Sheridan goal for Dublin it was Jason Sherlock and Jason Sherlock reacting on typical of him but the referee's gone in the incident is around the post just at the moment. Bernard Brogan took the shot. Great save from Damien Sheridan. He flicked it back in. And in came Jason Sherlock to prod it home. Well, the referee has gone in and decided in the end that the goal will stand. Damien Sheridan bringing the ball out to the 20 metre line Jason Sherlock gets the goal he did exactly that in 2000 when these sides met it wasn't enough then to save Dublin it could have though bravery from the goalkeeper quick reaction to Jason Sherlock great play by Bernard Bogan who flicked back the ball well done to Damien Sheridan with Jason coming the, coming, coming the man coming the hour great goal Longford have to win the next kick out Eamon Fennell Dublin come looking for the equaliser are we to have extra time David Masterson plenty of time and he leaves the ball behind because in fact the free is going the other way and this is to the advantage of Longford we have about two and a half minutes of additional time to be played one point between the sides Longford hanging on by their fingernails in fact this one is going to be a throw up is it though the referees indicated that it's going to be a free for Longford Paul Barton goes back to try and steady the ship now for them into Brian Kavanagh. Brian Kavanagh can go for a score from there. It's high. It might be good. That surely is the winner for Longford. Brian Kavanagh, extraordinary score from out on the sideline almost. And really, you'd have to say, if Longford hold on, they deserve it. That was a magnificent kick. Well, we finish as we start more than likely. Kavanagh scored the first point, a wonderful point in the second, in the first half, and there he is with another super score. The reality is, is no Dublin cornerback has been able for Kavanagh, who has been a star show all through the 70 minutes. A Dublin goal now, however, will win it for them. They come looking for it. Brendan McManaman 
players pouring in there. This is a big one now. Cross the centre. Brian Cullen has it. Jason Sherman looking for another goal. Brendan McVenom. Oh, it's saved by Damien Sheridan in goals. It took a deflection. And Longford bring it away. Noel Farrell stretching his legs. He's got a man ahead of him. It's David Barton. He's got two men outside him. He plays Noel Farrell instead. Noel Farrell loses the ball. And they've lost the possession as well. 70 seconds left for Longford to hold on. Dublin looking for a winning goal, perhaps. Declan Alley's in there. Stopped strongly. There's a man free on the outside. He just loves that ball. Both sides of a goal. It's a goal for Dublin. Incredible stuff. Jason Sherlock, goal number two. Would you believe it? Pardell Park erupts. Amazing, I've never seen anything like this. Sherlock sticks it into the eye of a needle. Poor defensive play by Longford, but Jason Sherlock, he's only been on the field about 20 minutes and he scored two goals. The goal Dublin were looking for has come from the boot of Jason Sherlock. It's an O'Byrne Cup final. Explosive stuff from Jason Sherlock and an explosion on the 20 metre line as well. A uh, Longford just don't know what hit them. What an extraordinary turnaround in the last few minutes, all caused by that man, Jason Sherlock. The hero of 95, the crowder on the pitch. This is the O'Byrne Cup final, madness breaking out. 7,000 people here though, hugely exciting. Longford will be devastated, disgusted. To let a lead like that slip is unheard of, but I suppose it's Division 2 versus Division 3. Is there time for Longford to save this? They have the ball, Kevin Mulligan gets it. The referee will decide to throw it up. One last chance, perhaps, for Longford to send this game to extra time. Paddy Dowd is in there looking for it. Longford have it. Francis McGee. Noel Farrell. The long ball inside. Dublin have it, though. Surely that's the last chance for Longford. Dublin hold on. The final whistle blows. An extraordinary finish. A pitch invasion, amazing stuff. Jason Sherlock scored two goals in about ten minutes. I'm sure all credit to him. Super sub Sherlock comes on, saves the day, but Longford defensively left it behind him. But Sherlock, and he's great credit, 1995 he won in All Ireland. Here he is, 18 years, well, whatever it is, years later, still doing the business. Longford will have nightmares about this game for years to come. It's a seventh O'Byrne Cup success for Dublin, but for the first time they've managed to win it back to back. There's no doubt in Dublin's current dominance in Leinster, but what a game we had tonight. The pitch invasion says it all. Relief for Dublin, extraordinary finish. Dublin, two goals and 12 points. Longford, one goal and 14. GAA on Satanta Sports Ireland, in association with boilsports.com, leading the way with GAA betting.